if you could summarize very briefly why this name stood out over all of the um, 18 others. I think when you look at Mr. Bartleman and what he's accomplished, particularly when it comes to literacy and libraries, and that's really what we're naming uh, the building after, uh, his uh, book drives for uh, Native communities in the north, he's an author himself, he's a distinguished diplomat, and uh, he was a longtime resident of Ottawa. Oh, why not? You. <laughs> why not Charlotte Witten this time around? Well, I think we Since went. she's made it through the full process this time, why not have someone as distinguished as her in the running at least? Well, you know, as I said at the time, we we went through that uh, process, and I obviously put the name forward, uh, but uh, there was quite a uh, negative reaction from many in the community, and I've always said these kinds of naming should be celebrations that bring the community together, and clearly. Miss Whitten, even years after her passing, is still a divisive figure. I still obviously have um, admiration for the work that she did as mayor, but uh, the jury remains out in terms of, uh, of her role, her extracurricular role or premarital role, and I thought uh, Mr. Bottleman was a, a good uh, unifying uh, individual who um, uh, represented our country and our province extremely well for many decades. On a broader sort of a process question, why not carry forward three or four or five names rather than just the one from well, the stage? Well, I don't think this should be a, you know, a, our version of Canadian Idol where we have you know, voting for people because these are individuals, uh, uh, many of whom have already passed away, but their relatives put their name forward, and I don't think we want to get into a popularity contest. I think it makes more sense to bring one name forward and seek public input on that, and that has been the practice uh, since the naming policy began, one name has come forward. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Great.